Jefferson County chimpanzees are at the center of a bitter fight between the Missouri Primate Foundation and a national animal rights group. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes shares images from his exclusive visit to the chimpanzee compound that's under fire. No reporter, TV station, or video camera has ever been given access to what you're about to see. A Festus primate facility where four chimps, the subject of an ongoing court battle, are currently housed. These chimpanzees were once known locally for their chimp birthday parties, greeting cards, and television commercials. It's Connie Casey's property. Casey's raised chimps since they were babies. The chimps we saw have access to both outdoor and indoor cages through a series of tunnels. Casey did not come out for the tour. She's here today, but she, she just doesn't want to be a part of anything because she is so heartbroken. Heartbroken because they'll soon be moved out. Tanya Haddock stepped in about five years ago, hoping to keep the chimps here. Good boy. The group PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, sued Casey and her foundation, alleging conditions here were unsafe and unsanitary. Haddock's had an idea to take the heat off of Casey. So I'm like, Connie, you can move these chimps. You can sell these chimps. You can give these chimps away. There's nothing they can do about it. I said, sign them over to me and let me take the grunt of that lawsuit. She moved her mobile home to Casey's property and took ownership of the chimps. Haddock says her decision now has her in contempt of court. I'm so dumb, but I still believe in doing what's right, and I love these chimps because I've gotten to know every single one of them. Seven chimps are under contention. Four were here in Festus today. Three others have been moved to Eldon, Missouri. That's part of the dispute. PETA's lawsuit led to this agreement between the parties where four chimps are to be transferred to a Florida sanctuary and three can remain in Missouri under Haddock's care. But she must finish constructing this primate dome with agreed upon specs. At an April contempt of court hearing, PETA said that moving chimps to Eldon was not part of the deal. Under the agreement, Haddock's is supposed to inform PETA on construction progress. However, court records show Haddock's often responds to PETA's requests for information with messages like, you are not the police, just a member of a terrorist group. I am not your patsy nor slave. The four chimps here in Festus will be transferred to an accredited sanctuary, but the agreement from September 2020 is that Haddocks must maintain care for the chimps until the sanctuary builds its enclosures. That's still at least four months away. And Haddock says complying with some aspects of the court-approved agreement she made with PETA is not possible. Like this line from the court order, defendants are hereby enjoined from inserting any body part into an enclosure. As PETA don't want us putting our extremities in the cage, so we always have to let them initiate. They think that they should be in the wild, but they're not because these guys were born captive. Connor and Candy. Candy was a premature, uh, she only weighed less than a pound, three quarters of a pound when she was born. Haddock says Tammy was sleeping inside. Then there's Carrie. Give me that tongue, give me that tongue. He's gentle with me, but he wouldn't be with another typical male. You see the power of Carrie in this interaction. See, just like right there, he tried to grab me, but see, I'm aware of that, so I know what to do with him. Carrie is the one who escaped onto State Road CC. Oh my God. As Fox 2 first reported last July, the main part of the consent concerns Haddox's obligation to modify or construct facilities to house the chimps with the specs and on the timeline designated in the agreement. Here's PETA's lawyer responding from Los Angeles. These are incredibly complex and intelligent animals um, who need to have some semblance of a natural environment so they can engage in their natural behaviors. Pursuant to our agreement, Ms. Haddox was required to provide certain information to uh, to us to ensure that uh, her end of the bargain was being held up. And as the court made very clear, she's failed to provide any evidence that she has met her obligations by those deadlines. Haddox questions her agreement, wondering why the sanctuary can get a year to prepare while she feels hounded. I said, come get your chimps, I'm done. I'm ready to walk away. That comment alone puts her at risk. Walking away would be another violation. We don't want Ms. Haddox in jail. We are not interested in her being fined and her funds being used for that instead of providing care for the chimpanzees or what other animals she might have. So really all we want is what we've already negotiated. I watched Haddock sob in her April contempt of court hearing in federal court. Both PETA and the judge said it wouldn't make sense to lock her up, but she must follow orders or she'll be at least paying a $50 a day penalty. We'll be in court for her next hearing. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.